how to create a free account on Microsoft 365. Go to Google, type Microsoft 365 Enterprise Plans. So we are in the Microsoft 365 E3, E5 and F3. It's showing all our contact sales. We don't have any options for the free trial. Okay, let me check on the Office 365 for Enterprise. The difference between the Microsoft 365 and Office 365 is uh, in Microsoft 365 E5 will get a Windows license and will have some extra security features. Uh, let me go to Office 365 for Enterprise. Let me check any free trial available for me. No, I don't have any free trial for me. Okay, that's fine. Let me go take any one of these. Um, Okay, compared to this one, I can go with this because it's showing like 940 to 785. Maybe it will have some uh, extra additional features. Uh, let me check where it is having teams. Okay, this guy doesn't have the teams. Okay, um, even having the teams license. Okay, so let me go with the free trial for E1. So I need to give my email ID. I tap my full email ID, click next, set up an account. So, country is already selected like India. Okay, good. And then, first name. Then, I'm just giving this a name. Then, we need to give your mobile number. Then, company name, you can give you anything like. I'm giving like EMS teams and two to four. I would like click next. Okay, better we can give the text me one send verification code. Verify. Okay, it is just giving one default domain. I'm checking it's three is there. Okay, save. Okay, this will take your name. The default name it will take from your username. You can change it anytime. If you want to change, you can change here also. Username is like I'm putting admin. Here we need to choose some domain. Uh, we should be this available. I can give MS Teams. Let me check save. No, MS Teams. I'm giving India. Let's see MS Teams India. Okay, it is there available. Okay, it's a default uh, uh, domain name. After that, we can change accordingly. Depends on our company name. Uh, so here I am going to give the password. then click next it's creating an account and it will ask the add the payment method so add payment and give your code number and expiry everything postal code and we need to click the save options so i'm pausing here then i'll click the save and i will show now it will ask the pan card details or if you have the company you can give the ghg number i'm going to give my uh, pan card details and going to click save then it will ask to click the start trial so once you got the trial this is the page you are getting start using the Office 365 E1 trial. I'm just clicking start our free trial. Oh, good.
I'm going to use the default domain. I don't have the domain as of now. Uh, so I'm just clicking. Yeah, let me check exit setup. Flix Mac is uh, other. Let me check. Okay. Because we don't have the domain now. Click your products. Here you can see uh, number of purchase quantities 25 and assign license is 1. So you can cancel the subscription at any time. Okay, and you can edit this bill and you can put it as off here. So that means even if you are forgot also, it won't take from your credit card after one month. Then come to the licenses. Here you can see total license is 25 utilized one. What is that one user means? When we created the accounts, we created like admin at the rate, right? Admin name. So that is took the one license. It will be unassigned initially. Uh, I assigned. Okay. Uh, so that's why it's coming. Like, uh, for example, if I'm creating one user, I'm just putting user one user one and i'm going to keep the deposit and click next the location is in india you can assign now or we can assign later so i'm just assigning one of the license click next no need to keep any role next finish adding closing so i added the user one if i want to add user two click user two click next this time i am creating user without the product license click next next Finish adding and close it. Refresh. See here it's showing unlicensed. So if you want to assign the license, click the user. Go to license and apps. We have remaining 23 in 25. Just click save changes. Close it. Now refresh, it got assigns. So in the total 25 license, now we utilized three license. If I'm logging out, okay, initially let me go and log out. And I'm just, I need to type office.com. Okay, it's not coming. Microsoft Office. Where is office.com? Okay, here. Go to office.com. So here you need to get sign in. So we need to type the email address, which the account user account which we created. Uh, See, this is the email ID which we used during creating the account. So here you are getting that this domain name. So copy that domain name fully and the username which we created admin at the rate domain name. Okay, this full domain name and click here. Enter the password. So this is the user ID first we created when we creating the account after giving the gmail id from here you can control all the things
and previously when we created we went to some admin.microsoft.com how we went there initial means this is the tab from here if you click admin tab it will move to that it will take to the billing and the user page where we created the user account so there is uh, two sites like office.com you can get login for the common from here we can go with the admin.microsoft.com even we are having teams also if you click the teams it will go to teams.microsoft.com okay we will discuss all the things okay so it's taking to teams.microsoft.com so this all are admin centers and even we are having for active directory also so let's team loading if you go here show all you'll get see here for azure active directory if i'm clicking it will go to azure active directory So from here we can go for each admin centers and this is the tenant ID as we discussed last time when we are creating an each account you will have a unique tenant ID the tenant ID you can get it from the Azure portal itself this is the tenant ID for our MS Teams India on India dot on Microsoft dot com so what and all users you created you can see here all users it will be reflected so it's automatically get reflected when you are creating on the admin center what and all you are creating the if you are adding the new user it will be reflected on azure ad so if you go for teams.microsoft.com it is going for the get the app uh, we can download this app and we can get installed in case if you want to go to team admin center click here uh, under the main admin dot microsoft dot com you can see the admin centers here you can choose the teams admin center and will go to go to admin dot teams dot microsoft dot com So here you can have control of all the voice for DD mapping, phone numbers, SBC, direct routing, all the things. So right now we just discussed four important links. One is like common one office.com. Then we are having admin.microsoft.com for creating the user. Then we are having Azure that is for the acting active directory, Entra dot microsoft.com and after that we are having admin dot teams to control all the dialing outside a lot of the features in the teams so all to go all will be there under the admin dot microsoft.com if you click all the admin centers you can be able to see all the things whichever you want we can click the link and we can go if i'm clicking the exchange it will go for the exchange admin center click next 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 finish it okay finish now if you want to check what is the email id created if you forgot the email id what's e what is the initial email we used for creating this account you can go for billing accounts click this one name which we created here you can see okay this is the gmail id which i used so microsoft 365 cloud so when we create a new account in microsoft 365 we will name as tenant it represents the digital space where an organization data and service are managed and stored example the tenant ID which we just 
saw in the Azure portal. So it's the unique tenant ID. Okay, a tenant can have multiple subscriptions like Office 365, E5, E4, Azure AD. Lot of subscriptions are there. Depending upon our requirement, we can subscribe. A user can be assigned to multiple license depends on the role also. Okay, if they want to dial outside, we can assign one more multiple license for like team standard license. Okay, users accounts are stored in Azure AD tenant cloud. Once the tenant name is created during the sign in, it can't be changed. It can't be changed. Tenant regions are created depends on the locations. We'll see about the tenant regions and the subscription. We can one tenant can have multiple subscriptions. Come to the admin center. Go for the settings, organization settings. Organization profile, data locations. So currently we are in India. So this all will become on India because we created this account on India. Okay, this is the tenant. Okay, uh, tenant data locations. If you go for like billing and purchase services, because this is the tenant, this tenant can have multiple services. They can take any services. See, this much subscription are there per month, per month. If you want anything, we can take it. For example, I'm just checking uh, collaboration communications. So these are the subscriptions are there. If you want to go for the uh, phone standard license or something, and it will prompt, you can go for the trial. See, this subscriptions also we can go. I'm just clicking there teams phones details and if you want to purchase you can purchase if you want to go for a trial period you can just click these details and start a free trial try now Continue. Okay, now we subscribe. So in single tenant, we can subscribe, purchase multiple services. If I come to the your products, here you can see now phone trial is activated. So if I'm assigning this to the users, they can dial outside. So for example, I'm just going to the user. If the user to want to dial outside, I simply go the license and apps and click the Microsoft Teams phone standard save changes. And now the user to having two licenses. This is the point we discussed tenant regencies we just saw it is on india and second thing one tenant can have multiple subscriptions and user can be assigned to multiple license depends on the role now microsoft 365 multi geo availability so these are the data centers which is located currently in the microsoft 365 Okay, for example, we'll take on big organizations. Okay, they are having thousand users in India and thousand users in UAE and thousand users in Canada. Okay, if I'm having the single tenant, I'm just creating one single tenant like what we created now is my MS Teams India dot Microsoft dot com. And later it can be mapped to any of the domain name. For example, think our domain is one of the startup company. I'm just giving mycompany.com. So now the users will start when I'm creating the users, they will tell user one at the rate mycompany.com. This is the customized, it's a domain. So this will map in the future lessons. Okay. So currently, if I'm having 
like a uh, hundred thousand users in India okay and thousand users in US thousand users in Canada okay if I'm having single tenant what will happen all the users are coming and storing on the tenant which I created on India even they are from outside locations also all the database will come and store for these reasons what Microsoft is recommending if you are having more users if you are having 20 users not a not an issue 10 10 people from different countries they can come and use where the tenant is created but if it is big organization and having the employees more than 3 lakhs or 2 lakhs how they are going to have single tenant because all the data bills can can't travel this year thousand users can't travel their users database to the India tenants which we created because we created the Gmail ID which is signed on India subscription on India for this reasons we have multi geo availability we need to contact Microsoft and we need to tell to them hey guys I'm just uh, having the uh, thousand users Canada can you add the Canada locations here in my tenant then they will add so under the organization unit you will have India Canada Japan what are the countries which you are like where you are located this for this we need to reach the Microsoft 365 support team so where we'll get it we'll go to settings on settings organization data location in this data location you may be see other countries once the Microsoft uh, support team is enabled maybe Singapore or US all the things okay then how I will to select the users to assign on particular Singapore just come here go to the users here on the license and tab here you can choose the locations currently if you are choosing for example Canada even this database is going to store on India data center only but once they enabled that time if you save the location as Canada then you will go for the Canada data centers okay I hope it is clear now so simply if you are changing the uh, country here it is not going to for that data center because you have only one single data center that is now India if the, it is added on your organization settings then only if you choose the particular locations it will go for the particular data center thank you for watching